All right, I'm gonna do a video on a, this is a Genma 284. I had like no luck finding any online support for this thing and the manual is poorly translated Chinese or Japanese or something that's not American, <laughs> English to, uh, um, to English to translate and it's terrible to try and read. So this thing came in, uh, the PTO, would not engage, wouldn't lock up, wouldn't turn, wouldn't, well, it would turn freely, but it wouldn't, wouldn't engage. So we started with the clutch adjustment, which is behind, this one has got the loader uh, behind there. I should have taken this video when I still that off, but there's three adjustment ears. So there's two clutches in there. There's um, um, your PTO clutch. It looks like an automatic transmission. There's a PTO clutch with a shaft that goes through the middle, and your drive clutch is behind that between a pressure plate, and that shaft goes outside of the PTO cl uh, clutch shaft. Uh, they're both disengaged by this. Um, made sure they both engage, both locked up. Um, reset them. You'll set them with a feeler gauge. Those those are in the manual. But anyway, so if you have the PTO problem, where you got to it, and this is your PTO lever right here. That's up and down. That's your disengagement. Well, it felt pretty free, so we we pulled off the box, the hydraulic box on top. Turns out, let me see if I can turn a light on this thing. This little ear right here had uh, broken off right there pink and so we drained the oil and pulled it out with a magnet and uh, welded it up and ground it down I got that little snap ring back on there um, and put it back in so the problem was is it was stuck there and that was broke off so you can never get it to go back on um, so yeah there's engaged disengaged but yeah it would just spin free like that um, but you can see somebody tried to force I think what happened you can see the wear on that. So I'm going to try to force it. You can see where it got in to the ring gear there just a little. Um, let me lock this thing in. There it is. There's locked. Um, yeah, you can see where it got into the ring gear. I mean, it won't matter with this machine. It's It ought to be just fine. It's not like this thing's going to you know, work crazy hard. You know, it's just a little homeowner's machine. But... Um, I hope that helps somebody if they run into this problem. This is really easy to get off. You pull the seat off. Um, the seat sits right there. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine bolts. And then it comes off. You'll you'll pull your hoses off the side and say there's nothing on the bottom. Clean the gasket surface up. And yeah, so we'll put oil in here and it should be good.